Mr. Zuckerberg, let me start with you. Did I hear you say in your opening statement that there's no link between mental health and social media use? Senator, what I said is I think it's important to look at the science. I know it's people widely talk about this as if that is something that's already been proven. And I think that the bulk of the scientific evidence does not support that. Well, really, let, let me just remind you of some of the science from your own company. Instagram studied the effect of your platform on teenagers. Let me just read you some quotes from the Wall Street Journal's report on this. Company researchers found that Instagram is harmful for a sizable percentage of teenagers, most notably teenage girls. Here's a quote from your own study. Quote, we make body image issues worse for one in three teen girls. Here's another quote. Teens blamed Instagram, this is your study, for increases in the rate of anxiety and depression. This reaction was unprompted and consistent across all groups. That's your study. Senator, we try to under, understand the, uh, the feedback and, and how people feel about the services. We can improve Wait a minute. Them. Your, own, study, your are... own study says that you make life worse for one in three teenage girls. You increase no, Senator, anxiety and depression. Says. That's what it says. And you're here testifying to us in public that there's no link. You've been doing this for years. For that's... years, you've been coming in public and testifying under oath that there's absolutely no link. Your product is wonderful. The science is nascent. Full speed ahead. While internally, you know full well your product is a disaster for teenagers. Senator, and yet you keep true. right on doing what you're doing. That's right? not true. That's not true. Let me let me t let me show you some other but facts I, mean, you, I know you, that you're you familiar carry, you with. I, well, oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's, I mean, not, a that's, that's not a question. That's not a question. Those are facts, Mr. Zuckerberg. That's, that's not a not, question. That's, those aren't facts. Here, well, let me show you some more facts. Here are some here's some information from a whistleblower who came before the Senate, testified under oath in public. He worked for you, a senior executive. Here's what he showed. He found when he studied your products. So, for example, this is girls between the ages of 13 and 15 years old. 37% of them reported that they had been exposed to nudity on the platform, unwanted, in the last seven days. 24% said that they had experienced unwanted sexual advances they'd been propositioned in the last seven days. 17% said they had encountered self-harm content pushed at them in the last seven days. Now, I know you're familiar with these stats because he sent you an email where he lined it all out. I mean, we've got a copy of it right here. My question is, who did you fire for this? Who got fired because of that? Senator, we study all of this because it's important and we want to improve our services. Well, you just told and me a second ago you studied it, but there was no linkage. Who Senator, did you fire? You, I said you mischaracterized. 37% of teenage girls between 13 and 15 were exposed to unwanted nudity in a week on Instagram. You knew about it. Who did you fire? Senator, this is why we're building all Who these did you fire? tools. Senator, that's, I don't think that that's... Who did you fire? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to answer that. Because um, <laughs> I mean, you didn't is, fire anybody, right? You didn't take Senator, any significant I, I action. It's appropriate to talk about... It, it, like it's not appropriate. Decisions Do you know who's like sitting that? behind you? You've got families from across the nation whose children are either severely harmed or gone, and you don't think it's appropriate to take a, talk about steps that you took? The fact that you didn't fire a I, single person? To, let me I'm ask you this. Let me ask you this. Have you compensated any of the victims? Sorry? Have you compensated any of the victims? I, These I, girls, I, have you compensated them? I don't believe so. You, why not? Don't you think they deserve some compensation for what your platform has done? Help Senator, with counseling services? Help with dealing with the issues that your, your service has caused? Our, our job is to make sure that we build tools to help keep people safe. Are you going to platform. compensate them? Senator, our job and what we take seriously is making sure that we build industry-leading tools to find harmful to content, make money. to take it off the services, uh, to make money. and to build tools that empower parents. So you didn't take any more. action. You didn't that's take any true, action. Senator. You didn't fire anybody. You haven't that's compensated a single not, victim. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. There's families of victims here today. Have you apologized to the victims? I, Would I'm, you like to do so now? Well, They're here. You're on national television. Would you like now to apologize to the victims who have been harmed by your product? Show them the pictures. Would you like to apologize for what you've done to these good people? I, 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 I'm sorry for everything that you have all gone through. It's terrible. No one should have to go through the things that your families have, have suffered. And this is why we invest so much and are going to continue doing industry-leading efforts to, uh, to make sure that 
no one has to go through the types of things that your families have had to suffer. You know, why, Mr. Zuckerberg, why should your company not be sued for this? Why is it that you can claim, you hide behind a liability shield, you can't be held accountable? Shouldn't you be held accountable personally? Will you take personal responsibility? Senator, I, I think I've already answered this. I mean, this is, these well, are serious issues. Well, try it again. Will you take personal responsibility? Senator, I view my job and the job of our company as building the best tools that we can to keep our community safe. Well, you're failing at that. To, well, Senator, we're doing an industry-leading effort. We build AI oh, tools nonsense. that- Your product is killing people. Will you personally commit to compensating the victims? You're a billionaire. Will you commit to compensating the victims? Will you set up a compensation fund? Senator, With your money. I think these are-, these are With your money. Senator, these are complicated yes, that, issues. No, that, that's not a complicated I, question, I, though. That's Senator, a yes or no. Will you set up a victim's compensation fund with your money, the money you made on these families sitting behind you? Yes or no? Senator, I don't think that that's... Uh, my job is to Sounds make sure like a no. good tools. My, my Sounds job like is a no. to make sure that... Your job is to be responsible for what your company has done. You've made billions of dollars on the people sitting behind them. Are you here? You've done nothing to help them. You've done nothing to compensate them. You've done nothing to put it right. You could do so here today, and you should. You should, Mr. Zuckerberg. Before my time expires, Mr. Chu, let me just ask you. Your platform... Why should your platform not be banned in the United States of America? You are owned by a Chinese communist company or a company based in China. The editor-in-chief of your parent company is a Communist Party secretary. Your company has been surveilling Americans for years. According to leaked audio from more than 80 internal TikTok meetings, China-based employees of your company have repeatedly accessed non-public data of United States citizens. Your company has tracked journalists improperly gaining access to their IP addresses, user data, in an attempt to identify whether they're writing negative stories about you. Why should, your, your platform is basically an espionage arm for the Chinese Communist Party. Why should you not be banned in the United States of America? Senator, I disagree with your characterization. Many of what you have said, we have explained in a lot of detail. TikTok is, is used by 170 million Americans. I know, and every single love. one of those Americans are in danger from the fact that you track their keystrokes, you track their app usage, you track their location data, and we know that all of that information can be accessed by Chinese employees who are subject to the diktats of the Chinese Communist Party. That, that why, not, why should you not be banned in this, in this country? Uh, Senator, that is not accurate. A, a lot of what you describe we collect, we don't. It and is 100% accurate. Do you deny that repeatedly Americans' data has been accessed by ByteDance employees in China? We built a project that either cost us billions of dollars to stop that, and we have made a lot of progress. And it hasn't been stopped. According to the Wall Street Journal report from just yesterday, even now, ByteDance workers, without going through official channels, have access to the private information of American citizens. I'm quoting from the article. Private information of American citizens, including their birth date, their IP address, and more. That's now. Senator, as we know, the media doesn't always get it right. Well, what we have... What we have uh, but the Chinese what, Communist Party does? I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that we have, been, we have spent billions of dollars to build this project. It's rigorous, it's robust, it's unprecedented, and I'm proud of the work that the 2,000 employees are doing to protect the data. It's, of it, but it's not, it's not protected. That's the problem, Mr. Chu. It's not protected at all. It's subject to Communist Chinese Party inspection and review. Your app, unlike anybody else sitting here, and, and heaven knows I've got problems with everybody here, but your app, unlike any of those, is subject to the control and inspection of a foreign hostile government that has actively trying to track the information of whereabouts of every American that they get their hands on. Your app ought to be banned in the United States of America for the security of this country. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.